Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic, New Day. In this educational video, we will talk about a common problem which we face in children and adults, that is egg allergy. So, does your child get hive or does your child get a rash or a pain in the tummy after eating egg or egg products? It can be an egg allergy. Now, allergy develops when a person becomes sensitized to the proteins in the food products. In egg allergy, the child's immune system gets sensitized or oversensitized to proteins in the hen's egg and these are proteins which are known as ovalbumin and ovomucoid. Egg allergy is the second most common allergy seen world over after milk allergy. Now what are the common symptoms of egg allergy that we see? So symptoms of egg allergy usually develop quite rapidly after consuming any egg or egg product. They can occur within minutes but sometimes can be delayed for a few hours. The symptoms can be mild such as hives or rashes over the body. They can be swelling around the eyes, around the lips, swelling of the lips, they can be swelling of the tongue which is called as angioedema. Uh, this can be associated with sometimes cramps in the tummy, nausea and vomiting. Some children also develop coughing, wheezing, itchy eyes, itchy nose, runny nose as well. But occasionally, the symptoms of egg allergy can be severe and this severe reaction is called as anaphylaxis. In anaphylaxis, there is extreme sharpness of breath, the child starts gasping, the pulses become feeble, the blood pressure falls down. This is a state of emergency which requires active treatment. Now, if a child or an adolescent or an adult has symptoms of egg allergy, then how do we confirm that? So you would need the help of a pediatric allergist to confirm whether the child has egg allergy or not. There are two types of allergy tests which can be performed. One type of allergy test is the, is the skin prick test which is the best available method to confirm an allergy. In a skin prick test, we would have the allergens available with us. Sometimes we also use the raw egg for testing for this allergy. We have a detailed video which we have already made on skin prick testing. Blood test also known as an immunocap can also be done to confirm an egg allergy. Does egg allergy go away with age? Well, in a lot of children, approximately 50 to 60 percent of children as they grow up, egg allergy reduces and goes away. So approximately 50 to 60 percent of children by the age of 6 to 8 years of age will be free from egg allergy. But in the rest of their children, it usually would persist into adulthood and carry forwards. Now, as we know that egg is something which is very commonly used in multiple foods. And if a child, an adult cannot consume egg or egg products, then it becomes very difficult uh, to eat multiple foods which are available, especially if they are going to school, if they are going to college and they are going out anywhere with friends or family. Now, if a child has egg allergy, then can they take baked products? Yes, a lot of children with egg allergy, they are able to tolerate baked products which contain egg. Now this happens because whenever baking takes place, there is extensive heating which is there 
which deforms the proteins in the egg and hence they become non-allergenic. So sometimes children are allergic to raw eggs, scrambled eggs which they cannot eat but they are able to tolerate a muffin or a cake which contains egg. But that does not happen in all children. Now how do we, how do we make sure, how do we tell our parents that whether the child shall be able to you know, take baked egg products or not? So that is what is known as a baked egg challenge. Now in a baked egg challenge, uh, the child is, you know, uh, is given egg containing products in the form of either a muffin or in the form of a cake which is baked at home. There is a specific amount of egg protein which is given uh, in, in, in the muffin. And gradually this is increased uh, till we reach the top dose. We closely monitor the child for allergy symptoms. If the child develops allergy symptoms at any point of time, the test is abandoned. But if the child is able to tolerate the maximum dose of the, of the muffin which contains the egg protein, the child is said to have passed the baked egg challenge. And in this situation, they are allowed to consume baked egg, egg products. But remember that as all children shall not be able to pass a baked egg challenge, this needs to be done in a hospital setting and almost a third of the patients will fail a baked egg challenge and can develop allergy symptoms at this point of time. And hence we do not advise parents to do this at home. Now, if a child has egg allergy, then what food and food products need to be avoided? Well, egg has to be avoided and egg products have to be avoided. So egg is used in multiple products, which might be breads, which might be bakery products, which might be cakes, muffins, pastries and so on. Now, because it is used in multiple products, we have to be very careful when you are consuming these products, especially from outside. Hence, reading of labels is extremely important and you have to be very careful when you are eating out. But as we know that labeling of food, labeling in India is not as robust and sometimes there can be problems. And there can be products which you are purchasing from some bakeries where food labeling is not done. And hence, we have to be very careful when you are consuming products from outside and you have to be careful when you send your children to daycares, to nurseries, to school and the school authorities should be informed well in advance that the child is having a allergy. So in case you, your child is having any symptom of egg allergy, do get in touch with an allergist and take proper advice. For more information, you can log on to our website ankitparak.com.